what we have seen in the restaurant industry, uh, first and foremost, this couldn't have come at a worse time when it first hit in that it was our busiest time of year, spring training, all the events that happened here. And, and as a response and as an, a lasting effect, what we saw is Arizona restaurants losing roughly $29 million a day during the peak of this virus. The month of April, we lost $815 million. And keep in mind, annually, we're a we're almost a $14 billion industry just right here in Arizona, uh, and we employ over 230,000 people in the state. So this is this has been a tough one. It's been a tough one, but you know what? The innovation and the entrepreneurial style of our restaurateurs are still here, uh, and we're, we're navigating through it. Steve, one report says that more than 80% of restaurant workers have been furloughed or lost their jobs. How do they recover from something like that? Well, Lorraine, first and foremost, that number is right on the money. Uh, it's right on the bullseye. That's exactly what we've seen between 75 and 80%. And that number I just gave you of about 230,000 employees stretched across Arizona. You can do the math and see just how detrimental that's been to our workforce. Uh, going into COVID-19 on an average day, our payroll in Arizona restaurants was $14 million a day. We now estimate that to be down to two and a half million dollars per day uh, being spent. So it's it's been a whopper uh, of an impact on our employee base. Some of the government and uh, private sector supports that have been in place are due to come to a close here um, July 31st. What becomes of the restaurant industry given that so many people were utilizing unemployment benefits? Well, we were concerned because we were hearing uh, you know, murmurs uh, across many different business types, uh, many business industries saying that employees weren't wanting to come back to work. We were somewhat dumbfounded. Uh, but then the, the truth really was, was coming to fruition, unfortunately, when we started calling people back into our restaurants, into our kitchens uh, back in May when the, the stay-at-home uh, policy was lifted by Governor Ducey. Uh, and we saw that. We saw some folks saying, you know what? We simply want to uh, stay home. We were making more money. Uh, and our response was twofold. First and foremost, be careful what you wish for, because you may not have your job here, your position here. It may be filled by someone else who's willing to come back to work. And secondly, it was a, a call to the, the governor's office and the leadership in the state to say, hey, if someone's called back to work and they refuse to do so, they should still receive unemployment benefits. Uh, because they do have their job back. So one was taxpayer minded and the other was uh, just the, the, the pure risk of, of losing a job you may have really enjoyed at one time just because you want to be on unemployment for a couple more months. There's been quite a bit of discussion about uh, the state government's role and then local government. Um, can local governments like the Maricopa County Board of Supervisors, for example, do anything differently that could help offset some of what we're seeing now? Public health for counties, Lorraine, is, is really first and foremost one of the functions we do, more so than anything else. And so we believe we had a responsibility to suggest to the public in, in the strongest terms possible, please, please, please wear a mask. However, uh, many people are doing the personally responsible thing and, and wearing a mask. It's been proven to, to shield against uh, COVID-19, and that's what we need at this time. It's not going to be forever, but that's certainly what we need right now. Okay, Steve Chukri, a Maricopa County supervisor and the president of the Arizona Restaurant Association. Thanks for your insight. Thank you.